guys, welcome to Treasure's Treasure Season 9. No, Season 4, Episode 9. That's what I'm talking about. Got way too far ahead of myself. I wish I was on Season 9 because I would have a lot more goodies. You know what I'm saying? We're on Season 4, Episode 9. We're looking good. We're feeling good, guys. I got some holes in my sweatshirt. I'm a little ruffled, though. But don't worry because you're always going to find some new flow. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we got big, big episode this week. I probably hit a major, major load. Now, probably not my best, but one of my best. Definitely, I would say top five in this episode. I'm not gonna spoil it, but you guys know where I'm going with on this one. That's what I'm talking about. So stay tuned. Good luck. Happy hunting to you as well, because I know fellow divers are out there diving every night, feeling good, looking good. So enjoy, and I'll be back with you after. All right, guys, what is up? So you're never going to believe this because I didn't believe it, but it was there in the recycling bin. I had no idea what it even was to tell you the truth. So get this, right? So I'm fishing out a bunch of this stuff here. Let's get into this real quickly here. This is kind of the boring stuff. I, I did find some better stuff in this, but this was my second time going back and I was able to grab this little trash bin here. So I'll put that in the garage. A lot of these do have those little um, defective slips, but again, guys, most of these are just open box returns. We have some more pins, we have masking tape, and we got some ink, and this stuff is perfectly good right here. The only problem though, guys, is I'm finding a lot of remanufactured ink, which will still sell, but again, refactured uh, Office Depot Office Map ink is not gonna go for as much as your normal ink, your genuine ink. So here, for instance, is Canon CL211XL. And again, it's brand new in the package, but uh, it's just an open box return, but it is remanufactured, which means then they slap their Office Max logo on it and sell it for a discounted price. Anyway, so I am finding uh, some remanufactured ink, but again, nothing off the top. You know, definitely some cool pins though. These guys are really cool open boxed items, some nice gel pins, etc. That's kind of the boring stuff. But again, I did find some other cool stuff. Same trip, first time, two times, same night I went back. Second time I went back, this guy, let's go back to this real quickly here. All right guys, so here I was, I was digging around because they're getting very smart. What they're doing is they're throwing away the good stuff first, then piling trash on top of it, so you can't see it if you just peer in. Anyway, this large object, <laughs> this thing is huge guys. Okay, this is a bar seat, this is a tall table. That's an Ikea thing, so you can kind of see the height here. I think the, even the dimensions are on here. It's about 44.33 pounds. Make a long story short, I moved this to look underneath it, but it had so much weight on it, I'm like, what the heck? So anyway, I tried to repair the hole, but I popped a hole in it down here to peer inside of it. There was so much weight, I'm like, how do I get inside this thing? So eventually I turn it around. I see this right here, but before I saw that it was actually open, I looked down here, guys, and what do we see? A Vita. Uh, Attava, Attava, no, not Avita, Attava, A T I V A, high security cross cut shredder, 17 sheets, uh, 20 sheets permitted, or something like that. Model number 17CC101. Now, I know you guys are like, well, just get to it, get to it, get to it. I'm gonna get to it, don't you worry. So I pop this open, guys. Boom. Take a look at this. I'm like, what in the world? I'm talking, boom. I already opened it up last night. I already plugged it in, works perfectly. Look at this, guys, check this out. Let's get this out of the way. And I'll give you the backstory, what I personally think was the reason. Boom, right there. Let me go ahead and remove this guy real quick so you can kind of see what's going on here. There's the cord back there. This is it, guys, boom, boom. Look at that, this is one of the tall dogs. This is a beautiful paper shredder. This thing opens up, has the manual up top, has some like lubricant sheets you put through it, you know, when it's getting a little dry. Guys, I personally think the guy's address is on the side, um, and so he ordered this, you can only order this online, you can't pick this up in the store. I personally think he got it, it was so stinking big, because this thing is huge. This thing is huge. I'm 5'9", and it's going up to probably my upper thigh area right here. I mean, this thing is definitely tall, guys. So he probably got it delivered to his house, he's like, he's probably like, this this thing is so stinking big. No, this is too big. I'm getting my money back. I go on the website last night, brand new, 269, baby, 269. That's 269, not $2.69, 269, baby. 
Office Max, Office Depot, you've been good to me. I appreciate you, and I got a lot more stuff that I did find. Now, coming over here real quickly, guys, while I got you on camera, I want to show you this real quick. Now, this was not in the Office Depot, uh, Office Max uh, trash can. This was next door in another one. Now, this came with this little bracket over here. This is a older, for an older DSLR camera. At first, I thought, oh my gosh, this thing's gonna be worth a ton of cash. I'm gonna cash in like 600, 700 bucks. Unfortunately, no. This is a Sigma uh, zoom lens, and it is a 70 through 210 millimeter uh, Sigma with a little hood uh, scoop on there. Anyway, I did some research on it. It goes for about 90 to 100 bucks, including shipping, I believe. So it's still a great score, you know, no complaints but it wasn't as expensive as I originally thought. But hey, totally cool. I just gotta clean it up a little bit. It's a little dusty, a little foggy there. Just gotta clean up the lens a little bit, the glass, and we're good to go. I'll be able to use that uh, on my DSLR camera, or if it doesn't work too well, I'll go ahead and just sell it, guys. But great pickup right there. Again, those were the cans next to Office Max, Office Depot. And again, it was a personal uh, throwaway. So people dumped their own stuff, and I was able to come up on someone's personal dump. Now, that is awesome because people just want to get rid of it. They live in a house. They're moving out. Someone got evicted. I don't know what the story is, but I found some good storage uh, boxes as well. And this was sitting right there with some other books as well. Well, so I took the books and I took this. I was so stoked on it, guys. Fantastic. So good little pickup there. Guys, take a look at this. Someone has smashed a whole entire sectional in between the trash cans. There are a nice couple pairs of loafers right here on the half ledge, right over here. I'm gonna go in for a closer look, but you see this every once in a while. But, I don't know, I kind of find that a little bit rude because now nobody can throw anything away. You've blocked the entire entryway. Now, what would have been nicer is if they would have put it over here on the sidewalk, over here. That way someone could even take it and just take it straight upstairs. But unfortunately, the way they put it in there scratched it all up right there. But again, we're taking a nice little Sunday afternoon stroll. So I'm going to go in a little closer here for those shoes. See if it's any good. Guys, pair of Ferragamos, but <laughs> I couldn't find the left one or right one. There was only one. If I would have found the other one, that probably easily was probably 75 bucks. Uh, size nine and a half leather Ferragamos. Looked like they were in decent condition too. A pair of Daboot New York, which is actually pretty expensive if you shop at Nordstrom, but they were pretty beat up. Uh, I was able to, ooh, yes. Yes, what do I see in that box right there next to that bed frame? There is a TV in that box, baby. Oh my gosh, I'm going in for a closer look. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about right here. Come on and take a look at this. That's what I'm talking about. Sea Dog is back in the game, baby. 32 LED. That's what I'm talking about, Samsung. You gotta be joking me, guys. This is a come up right here, baby. All right, guys, super pumped right now. That is what I'm talking about. That's why I dive. Again, Sunday afternoon right now. Every once in a while, guys, you find good products. I'm telling you, as long as you put the effort in. Now, sometimes you're gonna strike out. Sometimes you're gonna be on top. Again, it all depends. But we're gonna go ahead and plug that in when I get home, test it out. That was really, really cool. It's very rare that I'm actually with you speaking on the camera and then I just turned my camera and bada bing bada boom. That's happened a few times. Anyway, same complex, but uh, it was just a couple uh, rows over from uh, when I was talking about the shoes just now. Anyway, guys, that's again why I do it. Sunday afternoon, it's just kind of in the numbers game. Every once in a while, you'll just find some great stuff and you won't find things like that in retail. Well, you might, but probably not. So anyway, you might find TVs or... Sometimes you find a pair of socks, but most of the times you find true treasures. Ooh. So you might find some socks, you never know. <laughs> I've actually found quite a few socks. Anyway, um, I don't know if I told you or not, but that stop with the shoes, with the uh, Ferragamo shoes, which I couldn't find the other one, I was able to pick up a very nice cherry wood Nordstrom hanger with the pant leg 
where you kind of fold over the pant legs as well. And also a uh, Cobra head, golf head cover for the driver Cobra. So I was able to pick that one up and that actually looked like it was in great, great condition. So I'll show you guys that here in just a second. All right, baby, here we go right here. We're taking a look at some shelving devices right here. Take a look at this, guys. We're back at it. I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna grab this or not, but this is great, great shelving. This is garage shelving, top, front, to back. You know what I'm saying? Put that in. Look at this right here. We got a nice little Ikea something or other right here. You know, put some uh, little books on there or whatnot, but you know, looks okay. Well, unfortunately, guys, I did not see this one coming, but this is the TV that I found earlier today that you guys saw live on camera. Unfortunately, gosh, you know, it was in the center aisle, it was in the box. I thought for sure they just upgraded to a bigger television. It's a LED 5000 series, 32 inch from 2012. And I did not see that coming, unfortunately. Power's up, but as you can see here, this was a pressure point right there and there. So it looks like someone threw a wee nunchuck into it or something, or it might've fallen over during moving. Unfortunately, it did come with a remote control, which is cool though, but this is not a total loss, guys, because it does fire up. It's just a cracked LCD. So, I what you do in this circumstance, this is how you make extra money, is right here. I'm looking on eBay and it's the Samsung UN32EH5000. I'm under sold listings. Here's the TV mount, a couple ribbons there, remote control. We got the uh, one of the main boards there. Remote control, some parts. Again, these are different parts that are going. Again, there's the power supply there for 20 bucks, the TCOM board for 19 bucks, and so on and so forth. There's a stand right there for $29.99 plus $9.99 with the screws included. So just the stands go for money because what people do is they mount it on their wall and then they throw away the stand, etc. And then they, you know, other sell it on Craigslist and they need a stand, etc. So anyway, I will scrap this for parts. I'm going to take it apart and... It is, again, LEDs, so there's LED lights in here as well that you might be able to sell as well. I'll kind of scan through the uh, sold listings on eBay, but all in all, you could probably make easily over $100 off the parts, the main control board, the power supply, TV stand, remote control, potentially even the TCON board, etc. That's easily, you know, you bang out about $100 or so. Keep your power cables, of course, because you always find more objects and you need power cables. But again, I'm just a little bit bummed out uh, because it will take obviously a lot of uh, patience listing about five different auctions on eBay for the $100, but it can be done. And I was actually thinking about using this as a television in my boxing gym. I'm transforming my garage into a boxing gym, or I was gonna use this as a second computer monitor because this is a full 1080p 32 inch television, but ah, it's all good. And there is the Nordstrom nice wood hanger that I found and the golf club head cover I did mention earlier in the video. That is actually downstairs. I'll try to get a little close-up shot of that. It's just for a Cobra driver. Better luck next time. You're going to be dissected for parts. Take a look at this, guys. Look at this. We got some, like, pieces to what looks like plumbing pieces, like L hooks and stuff like that. All these boxes have stuff in them. I'm not exactly sure if someone put them out here, another diver because there's actually a couple more pieces in here. So again, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but I'm just gonna pull out a couple of these that are sealed in the bags, just in case they're worth some good money. You know, like $40 parts online, and I'll do some research later, maybe ask my dad. But again, I'm gonna load these up quick because I don't want to mess around with security. All right, guys, take a look at this. We got a dizzy, dizzy dump right here, but you know what they are? They're all the 2015 agenda books, like those calendar things. They finally dumped them all, guys. Wow. I'll tell you what, what about this right here, guys? How about a nice stained up sofa? But this thing could be remanufactured. It looks pretty good to me. But coming around to this bad boy, guys, look at this. This is why I even got out of the car. Now, let me basically tell you exactly what this is, guys. This is a huge, massive printer. Now, right now, I'm behind Staples right here, and this is a huge Design Jet Z 2100 photo that goes for big, big dollars, complete with the stand and everything. It does look like some guts have been taken out of it, maybe by another diver, 
but again guys there's probably still some other stuff inside here that is worse than dollars whoa 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 here we go guys here we go also in the cans next to that printer <laughs> i think we got some more agenda books take a look at this looks like some pads of note paper uh, some stuff like that might have to fish around here a little bit more see what's the synopsis here looks like we got some action down there oh slap your mama here we go guys we've hit the mother load we're back at a complex guys we got a looks like a computer monitor something back over here guys we got office chairs we got beautiful action look at this little rod for these curtains come on beautiful so guys that's why residential is definitely different than retail you know what i'm saying wow guys those chairs were bomb now again i found plenty of good chairs before in retail but that tv i thought it was a computer screen i was hoping for a 24 inch because i need a bigger um, computer monitor well that's actually a 22 inch lcd tv and it's one of those like generic brands it's from 09 well it has an hdmi port so it's probably 720p so it's not like a total loss, but it's pretty cool. So I'll either donate that or give that away. I don't think it's worth very much money if I try to sell it and the shipping might be a little bit too much. But if I needed a bomb office chair, guys, those office chairs, there was two of them. And they were the black, really modern looking ones with the like beautiful leather. They might have been Ikea. And so I'm going to do a little bit of research. And if they're legitimate, like three, $400 chairs, I might go back and snag them because they were in good, good condition with some nice like suede drapes and like a uh, drape bar, you know, a, a curtain bar that goes across your window. Anyway, some nice stuff right there. I'll tell you what. Anyway, and then I had some good stuff back at Office Depot. We loaded it up already. Time to get some protein in us now. Call it a night. All right. See you soon. All right, guys. We are behind Office Depot. We hit the mother load. I gotta go fast though. You never know how much time you have. Security might kick you out. We don't wanna get stopped. I'm gonna show you guys what it is so you believe me. I'm gonna load it up in the trunk. I might have to do two trips tonight. We're gonna go fast though, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, we got an Epson printer right here in the box. We got a backpack. We got all sorts of stuff, guys. This is gonna take a while. I'm gonna have to go fast. Over here on this side, we got some junky printers, but look at this Casio. Looks like a register. We got all sorts of stuff, guys. We got chairs, pillows. I'm gonna dig through this paper shredders. Let's go, baby. Ah, uh, guys, you see that car in my rearview mirror right there? It's a fellow diver. And he totally just got out of his car right in front of me, but I was I thought it was security. So I pull out, sorry if it's dark right now, so he has his door open and he's hunting right now. Oh my gosh, I think he's leaving right now. Very strange, I thought it was security. And it was perfect timing because I was already done. And I go to get in my car and I see this car pulling up, cruising through. But it might have been somebody that got tipped off by a worker. Maybe a worker said, hey, you know, to a family member or a friend, like, hey, I dumped a bunch of stuff, go get it type thing because that person left his car door wide open, heading straight to the trash. So it's either someone who's a fellow diver, but guys, I left a bunch of stuff for him. There's a full office chair, executive office chair. I'm talking expensive office chairs. There was one completely sealed. I just, I don't have room for it. And I already have awesome office chairs. I'm not gonna be greedy. I hope he takes it. And you know, you gotta share, that's the name of the game, guys. I got plenty of stuff, my whole trunk is full. I got the Epson printer right here, and we're looking good. Guys, there was so much stuff. There was so much stuff. We're gonna go through it, guys. I'm still flabbergasted by how much stuff was inside that dumpster. I was hunting for a good 15 minutes. I would load up my hands, throw it all in the trunk because if security does roll up they're obviously not going to let you like go back and grab it so I dug pretty good and I got pretty good stuff but again I left a couple office chairs one sealed a paper shredder so hopefully that guy grabs it all right guys wow we got a lot to unload tonight guys take a look at this trunk right here this is amazing look at this action in the back there 
We're gonna dig through this, don't you worry about that. Oh my goodness, I don't know what to say. Guys, my car is so full, I'm gonna open up an Office Depot Express in my garage. <laughs> it's gonna be, when you don't feel like driving, come on over to the friendly Office Depot Express. We'll take care of you. Our customer service is phenomenal, but our boxes are somewhat beat up. Might be used products, but they're still nice. Guys, again, we've hit the mother load before, but I don't think that's the mother load. I think that's the grandmother load. <laughs> because the mother load is big, but the grandmother load is even bigger. We just hit the grandmother load. All right, guys, so I went back today to Office Depot, and I was right. The other guy that I saw roll up to Office Depot right after I did was another fellow diver, and he was able to grab he actually grabbed both office chairs. The one office chair that was probably worth quite a bit of money, he actually grabbed that one still in the box, guys. Again, I can't be greedy, so you know what I'm saying? You gotta, um, you gotta let the other fellow divers have a little peace as well. You know what I'm saying? So they get excited about diving. You know, you want other people excited about diving too. And if I wouldn't have took it, that would have ended up into a landfill. So you know what? We gotta help each other divers out. I know some of you guys you know, are all, hey man, it's the competition. You know, these guys are cutting into my profits. Well, that is true, but hey, everyone needs a little something, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So let's say some other divers dive before I get there and they take everything. Well, then they wouldn't throw me anything. You know what I'm saying? So it comes around and uh, God blesses us all with what we need. So I like that. Anyway, guys, I am going behind REI right now because I have found that during the daytimes, it's actually easier going behind for some reason. And then uh, Toys R Us shut down, so I'm gonna go scope out Toys R Us to see if there's anything in their big dumpster. And then I'm going home, because I am hungry. Guys, take a look at this. That is what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness gracious. This was the cash register I just mentioned briefly in the video you saw last night. Take a look at that, guys. It literally, let me tell you a quick backstory. There's so much more in the garage, but this I just want to show you real quickly. And then tomorrow I'm going to go down to the garage and we're going to go look through all the other stuff. But this was really cool because I just got done testing it out. Now I have covered up the label of the store number like I always do. And this is the complaint. Open return. Customer complained the key would not open the product. Okay, this is a Casio electronic cash register. Guys, I already looked it up. The model is PCRT273. eBay, you're looking at 100 bills all day long. Uh, Amazon might be more, so this is a good sign. The box is a little beat up. And so, again, the paper wasn't even used. They didn't even attempt to put the paper in it, guys. All they complained about was the key does not open up the drawer. Well, that's true. The key does not open up the drawer. I had actually go in, program the date and time, and then put a little key code in, and the drawer opens up. Let me show you real quickly. And boom, boom. Whoop, there we go right there, guys. Take a look at that. Boom, there's a bill all day long, guys. Fantastic, fantastic. And so unfortunately, the employees uh, don't know about the products themselves, and so they just literally probably open up the box, or sometimes the employees don't even open up the box and check. They're just like, oh, okay. Customer says it's broken, it's broken. Boom, threw it away. All the manuals are right underneath right here. All the paperwork, all the boxes, guys, fantastic. I mean, it was a plethora of goodies last night. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot, a lot of product to go through right here. We're gonna go through it pretty quickly because I don't want this to take about 20 minutes. But again, guys, we've already seen the cash register. Boom, solid, solid. Now we're gonna take a look at some other things right here. And I'm pretty sure I wrote over the uh, store number here, so hopefully I did on all of them. But anyway, let's get right into it because we have so much plunder, it is ridiculous. Ridiculous. So some of the boring stuff real quickly here, just some uh, labels for brother. Um, we have an Amazon type of cover right here, something like that, a little flip cover right there. And it's supposed to be like that. You'd think it was broken, but it's not it's supposed to be like that. We have a 9 to 10 inch Universal XL Bluetooth little keyboard with a cover right there. Awesome, guys. I have no idea why that was there, but teach their own. Uh, again, some boring stuff here, some eight and a half by 11 inch sign holder here. You know, nothing too crazy fancy about some of that stuff, but you know, definitely cool. Uh, this one 
It says it does not work, but this is kind of a iPhone universal for droid wall and car charger there. Anyway, we'll put that one to the test. We got some standard photo paper. We have 49 pounds, um, inkjet, 100 sheets, eight and a half by 11 photo paper. I like that, guys. Come on now, you guys know how expensive photo paper is. Look at this right here. We got a VTech four line small business system right here. Take a look at that. I know no one uses a hard line anymore, but come on now, you know, that's not a reason to, you know, get rid of it. We got, again, open electronic return. Take a look at that, guys. Again, I have all the store numbers crossed off. Don't want to get anybody in trouble there. We got an AT&T corded answering system right here, guys. Again, in the box, most of these are opened up, so I'm not sure if they were returns or not. But anyway, to each their own, we got big stuff right here. Coming over here, let's just get these out of the way. We got another one right here take a look at that this one is uh corded and then you have a solo one right over here and guys everything is in it that's what i'm tripping about and then over here we got ourselves an at&t two-line speakerphone hard system right here so these should go for some good dollars here guys i think the vtech will definitely go for some good dollars these ones not as much probably but then these ones will probably go for some good dollars because i know people still use hard lines yeah, uh, you can sell those on eBay, Amazon, and those will still go. All right, coming over here to some cool things real quickly here. I just uh, loaded up a nice solid, I mean, that's a nice little storage bin right there too. So I just loaded up a bunch of stuff in here. We have an HD free antenna. It's probably not that good, but HD free antenna. We got a CD DVD writer. And I think that was opened damage, but it's not, guys. It's brand new in there. Ridiculous. Some of these employees are, I tell you the truth, they're lazy, so they just write that so they don't have to restock it. Probably put it back in the system. We got a Tarsus Universal second replacement laptop charger right there. Opened up, but don't matter. It's all good to go right there. We got 1.5 inch create a sticker adhesive refill. You know, some cool little things there. Look at this. We got a mobile power bank right there, in there. Again, I'm not going to go through everything, guys, but that's in there. A little mobile power bank for your battery. We got one of those dyno um, rolls there. I don't really know what size it is. That's the only problem, though, but it's open, returned. Those sell, but I'm not sure exactly what size that is. It should say maybe on the other side here, so I'll look into that later. All right, we got a Blinken Lightning to USB cable four-footer that is inside. Before I showed you this, guys, I just noticed that I didn't cross all the store numbers. I had to do that real quickly. Anyway, take a look at this. This is something I was really stoked on right here. Dymo Letra Tag for, like, you know, your kitchen or something like that. You know, kind of like a label maker. Anyway, that should definitely sell. Model number LT100H. I thought that was really cool, guys. Comes with some dyno labels in the back already. That should definitely sell for, my guess, is over 50 bucks all day long, probably. I'm not exactly sure quite yet. But some of these guys, something I do want to mention is that some of these dates on here are going back, like, late January. So we're talking about, yeah, right there. That one says 120 2016. So some of these, I'm talking, are going back, like, three weeks because it's right now, it's the 12th of February. So I'm thinking they stacked up a lot of product and then just hucked it all at one time. Take a look at that. All right, these are boring. I just grabbed these because I was interested in these for taxes or whatnot for my uh, uh, manila folders and, you know, file cabinets, etc. So we'll just get those boring things out of the way. There was a bunch of those. I just grabbed a little bit of those. Uh, we have um, some thermal paper, 10 count. There's only six in there. Actually, no, there's seven. There's one more in the box there. But I just grabbed those because thermal paper is very expensive. Uh, let's see. Let's grab that out of the way there. Um, we got Skull Candy Hesh 2. Skull Candy Hesh 2 equipped with Sp Supreme Sound. So we got some Skull Candies right there. Black. They look like they're on the ear, not over the ear. So we got some Skull Candies right there. We're probably going to do some giveaways because I don't need all these earphones. Oh, this is probably the best, best find out of everything, guys. 
we got Justin Bieber duct tape. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That is Justin Bieber's face on a roll of duct tape. Awesome. It's like halfway used already. <laughs> Alrighty, coming over here, guys. Look at this. Come on. Who does this? Who does this? iPhone 6 Plus, pink and white, OtterBox case, the Commuter Series. Take a look at that. Come on. Are you joking me right now? That is phenomenal. All right, coming over here to, we got some CL221 ink. We got some more right there. And unfortunately, this is the recyclable ink. It's not the genuine. So that's kind of a bummer. It'll still sell, but it's not the genuine. Genuine definitely sells. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of here. That was cool. I was able to get the little toggle for it as well. It does have scratches on it. So it's definitely not new, but that is a Logitech keyboard. And we got the model number K360, and I did have, find the toggle for it as well. That's upstairs. We got this cool Casio 12 digits desktop calculator. I thought that was really cool. Model number DV220. That's in the box. I thought that was kind of cool. And then we got a bunch of like little small stuff. Oh, this is from one of the telephones. We got some sticky pads. We got the Logitech mouse here. We got some phone cord stuff there. We got some bolts. And then we got these, uh, what are these? These are J something or other, J Lab, J Lab premium sound earphones right there with universal mic with track control. So I thought that was kind of cool. I just grabbed those just because. And then not to mention, come on, look at that nice plastic container for storage. Come on now, I like that. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the big dogs right here. All right, let's get this out of the way. This is mine for my camera I'm filming on right now. Take a look at this. You gotta be joking me, guys. We got an Epson WF3640 workforce. Boom, I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. We'll lift that up. We'll lift that up to prove to you guys it's in there. Boom, I'm talking brand new, guys. I'm talking brand spanking new. Maybe used once or twice, but it looks brand new. The only problem, though, the ink isn't in it. They took the ink. Bummer, man. Luckily, from a past plunder, I actually have that ink. So I'll get to that in just a second. But come on up here. Come on, guys. Who does this? My parents were like crazy. They were like, what in the world is going on with these people? This still has the stuffing inside of it. Samsonite. Look at that laptop backpack. You gotta be joking me, guys. Look at that laptop backpack. Look at the look at the handles. Look at the backing on it. Guys, it's brand new. It's brand new, never used. The stuffing is still inside of it. Samsonite backpack. Just absolutely gorgeous. Let's get that out of the way. Coming over here. I told you. I told you. Look at that bad boy right there. Let's pop those guys right there. Let's take a little look-see. Oh my goodness, take a look at that bad boy right there. That's like a laptop little like casing right there. Anyway, it still has the little little brochures. It still has the little, that little salt packet, that little gel packet right over there, guys. I mean, I'm comp, come on now, come on now. We got the Samsonite leather, uh, fits up to a 17.3 laptop, leather expandable attachment with the locks. Come on, guys. Come on. That's what I'm talking about right there. Still, the lock codes are still have the little piercings through it because it hasn't even been a combination, hasn't even been put in yet. It's like Christmas morning, baby. All right, let's get that out of the way. We'll be back for this stuff. This was a uh, grab bag. We'll get to that in just a second. But right here, guys, come on now. Box is a little beat up because I actually used it to stand on it to get inside. So <laughs> anyway, here's the ink right here. It unfortunately is not in there, but everything else was the plugs, the manuals. Take a look at this, guys. It is missing one portion of the corner of the styrofoam, but there it is. All right there, guys. The workforce, baby. We're talking easily 150 on eBay. I'll include the ink with it. We might even get, fetch a little bit more. I don't need a printer this big. Has Wi-Fi, guys. So I'm just going to sell that. That's a great, great score right there. So let's come on over here real quickly, and we'll take a look at what was in the grab bag. Nothing really, really special compared to what I just showed you, but we got baby on board sticker. Oh, this was really nice, guys. Take a look at this. This is actually a brand spanking new with the tag on it. Again, it was in the grab bag. It's a V-neck, and it's the brand Penguin, the brand Penguin. 
Size large, it might fit me, might not, but again, V-neck with the tags. Very, very nice, guys. All right, coming over here to some nice, um, very good quality. They look like they're maybe slightly used, but definitely nice washed, so obviously that's why I'm touching them. But I'm going to be using these just for rags in the garage. They're actually hand towels for the bathroom. And then this really nice little kind of thing that kind of scoots right into the corner of your shower unit. And so with little suction cups there, that was really nice. I think the missus wants this. I'm not exactly sure. I kind of forgot. But anyway, guys, definitely some sweet, sweet plunder. And I think I might have put some stuff, some other things. Oh, yeah, yeah, this was, um, these were some little workout pants. That was in the grab bag as well. And then what else? Oh, this was from a different night, but was able to get my hands on a TN 210M brother. Big one right here. We got another brother thing here. We got all sorts of stuff, a couple broken pieces down here, stuff like that. But, uh, oh my gosh, guys, I mean, it's really been hitting the plunder. That was a different trip. I think I've already showed you that, guys. I mean, we just got plunder for days, guys. Plunder for days. Hey, I told you guys that was the bomb. You know what I'm saying? Good stuff. I'll tell you what, we were looking real sharp right there. You know what I'm saying? Put on the cap and seal the deal. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're looking good. Guys, I'm going to see you on the next episode. And remember to always hunt smart, look smart, and look sharp. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Yo, if you're sick and tired of paying too much for stuff, just look in that dumpster and you might come up. Yo, come ups, come ups, I come ups are big, come ups are small, people throwing away mad stuff all day long. But then you can sell for cash and gold because all of us need a come up these days. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, come up.